want to be able to push yourself more during your workouts. Want to be able to make better food related choices. Well, in this video, I'm about to reveal one thing that you can begin to utilize as of now to really make that difference. Hi guys, I'm Alex Jen. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Make sure you like this video now because I'll forget to remind you later on. Anyway, make sure you get my book that's currently being sold on Amazon as well. It's absolutely remarkable. It's really, really going to change the quality of your life, your health, your physical shape. So in this video, I want to teach you something quite eccentric, quite outlandish, I must say. But bear with me, stick with me, because uh, if you do what most people do, you're going to have average or bad results. That's just the way it is. But not you guys, not if you follow my channel, not if you understand my material and so on and so forth. In this video, I want to teach you how you can use affirmations and incantations in order to maximize your productivity in the gym and make better food related choices. So there's a quotation that I've taken from my book. And the quotation is that a limiting belief will soon seep its way into our reality unless we have strong affirmations and incantations in place to keep us moving forward. So let's get this really, really clear here. This is what an affirmation is. An affirmation is essentially just a mantra. It's a belief. It's just a group of words. It's that you think of or that you say aloud um, at certain times. So I use affirmations whenever something negative happens or something challenging happens. So let me give you one that's unrelated to health. Um, well, I guess it can be related, but anyway, do you know what I mean? Uh, so if I'm ever not feeling very confident or I'm feeling like I might not have the tools uh, available to effectively deal with a situation, I have a, a mantra, I have an affirmation that I think of in my, in my mind. And, and my affirmation in this instance is I am greater than my environment. And I say this all the time and it's now inbuilt within my subconscious because I've been doing it for many, many uh, weeks and months now and it's now fully ingrained in my subconscious. Whenever I'm finding a, an activity difficult or I'm feeling like overwhelmed or anything like that, this is one of the, uh, one of the affirmations that I rely upon and um, it really, really helps me to, to push myself and to realise that I have enough as I am to do really well at anything I set my mind to. And so that's a key affirmation. Now let's, let me give you another one. An affirmation is just a belief that supports you, that you want to use whenever you feel negative, stressed out, fearful, anxious, um, petrified, whatever it might be. So let me give you one as it relates to your body shape goals as well. Uh, I can control uh, my actions. Yeah? Or I can keep going. Or I always find a way. That's another one of my favorites. I always find a way. So if you're in if you're training, you're in a workout, you're exhausted, your your body's fatigued, your mind is saying stop or take it easy or you don't have to push yourself this much because your brain will try and protect you and keep you as you are within your comfort zone. You your your body and your brain for that matter is biologically wired not to want to change. It wants to keep you comfortable. It wants to keep you alive. So when your heart is pumping and you're pushing yourself and you're sweating and all this and that, uh, your brain will try to put you off to keep you from uh, breaking through but really if you're going to improve your physical shape you're going to need to break through that barrier you're going to need to take things to the next level and incantations can really really help with this so uh, it's up to you if you want to take a moment to to write a few affirmations that you might want to use um, in any predicament not just relating to physical exercise but it's worthwhile writing down a few affirmations that you can use that you can think of on a continual basis whenever you're struggling or finding something difficult um, so if you like this content and you want to know more, make sure you head to my website at www.alexgem.com. You will have access to all of my products and services. Uh, you might want to click join uh, SPM today. Uh, just enter your credit card details. You'll get instant access to my incredible course. You're going to be blown away. Actually, on my sales page, you'll be able to uh, get some previews into some of the modules so you can see the quality for yourself and then try before you buy, so to speak. You'll also have access to some incredible bonuses. And I've 
I've given you so much exclusive content in the form of videos, podcasts, and audio segments that's really gonna make the difference to your health and your energy. Um, so let's bring it back. And there's one more thing that I wanna teach you, it's called incantations. Now, you're probably more familiar with uh, affirmations. You're essentially saying the same thing, but the reason why incantations are more powerful is because uh, it's, it's more emotional, it's more intense. Because you tend to say, firstly, say your affirmations aloud and you uh, kind of anchor yourself. You kind of put your, you involve your body. And it can look a little bit odd. It can be a little bit extreme. A lot of athletes do these sort of things leading up to um, partaking in certain activities. So, for instance, if you watch football or soccer, whatever you want to call it, uh, and the footballer is about to take a penalty, they might have a certain ritual or certain thing that they do in order to uh, motivate themselves, to get them to access a certain state, a successful state, a peak state, if you will, so that they can execute things really well. So um, what I tend to do before my workouts or when I'm really struggling is I like to use affirmations. It's, it might be something really subtle, uh, like just pinching your fingers together or tugging on your ear or just uh, holding around your wrist, a, a small gesture. But if you condition yourself to... The, the way you can make this really powerful in incantation is whilst you're doing these actions, you are imagining times when you are really successful in certain areas. So let's tie it to exercise. Um, say if you, every time you finish your workout and you're really proud of yourself, like, whoa, I smashed it today. All you need to do is a certain action at the end of that workout or whenever you feel really pumped up or you feel really strong or you feel really sexy or whatever it is. Just do a certain action. It doesn't have to be this one. I'm just giving you an example. And what will happen is that you will have done this so often that you're, you're teaching your subconscious to take over and to access a certain state. So when you're exercising and you're really exhausting, like, oh my God, for once, I'm not going to be able to do this. I am really struggling. All you need to do is do that and your brain will send a message to your body, your unconscious, to say, hey, he's doing that thing. You always find a way. You always do really well when this thing happens. This is, uh, this is psychology, guys. This is very, very powerful stuff and it's very effective. Um, especially if you have incantations that you think or say aloud as well. So you can practice these by doing the actions whenever you really feel successful, strong, powerful, um, and kind of say these out. So I can control my actions. If you say it with intensity whilst you do the action and you genuinely believe it, you can convince your body, your unconscious to take over and uh, you can draw upon this whenever you want to do really well. And it's applicable to exercise, but you can do it in many sort of areas in your life. It doesn't have to be related to health. It can be something that you do... Um, I'm trying to tie it to the things that are like, if you're going to do something really well at work, you're about to deliver a presentation or you're about to enter a really important meeting or you're about to uh, sign an investment and you're scared of investing a lot of money, but you know it's good for you, but you're still terrified. You might want to access a certain state. Uh, you can do it before you approach um, uh, someone that you find romantically attractive that could really get you into a state. Just make sure they don't see you doing it because that will freak them out. But um, you can access incantations and use affirmations in all different areas of your life to really improve the quality of your life and to get you in peak state and to get you to access flow where you can really, really step up and deliver uh, at the best of your capabilities. So if you like this um, video and you want to go know more, all you need to do is head over to my website, www.alexgm.com, click join SPM today or any other of my courses, whatever your needs are, whatever you want really uh, a lot of help with. Um, I'm, I'm here to support you in every uh, aspect. So, But if you click join SPM, just enter your credit card details. It's worth $2,000, guys. I'm not even charging it for a 1000 I'm not even charging it for 500 You're going to be blown away by what I'm charging. Uh, it's because I just want to give you guys so much value and I want to build that loyalty with yourselves. So uh, make sure you like this video if you found it of value as well and I hope to see you there.